Hi, this is Kevin with KDM GM, owner of Pro Advertisers Club, a totally free site to advertise. Go to ProAdvertisersClub.com, join for free today, and start advertising for free. Okay, the drop that is coming at the end of conflict, there is 14, or no, 12 rage cars being given away by six different YouTubers, okay? Bronze Dragon's given away two. Gather the Magic is giving away two. Dwayne Cunningham is giving away two. I am giving away two. Uh, Tells from the Cryptmancer is giving away two. And Splinter Zone is giving away two. So go like and subscribe these guys. Tell them you want to get on the drawing. And I found a new guy last night, H149. So go like and subscribe. These are, I'm adding this list. It's building uh, slowly but surely as I come across YouTubers who are making Splinterland content. And I'm going to call it uh, the buzz. Because what we're trying to do is get a buzz going on YouTube that gets the algorithm going. And so you do that. How do you do that? You do that by one, making videos. If you don't want to make videos, it's fine. Uh, like, subscribe, and leave a comment and watch the entire video uh, just it helps the algorithm pushing it out and once we create a buzz especially if we time it right with the bull market it could do and help out very well but anyway so go get on those lists if you send me an email there's, there's below there's links you can join but there's an email don't put your name in that in the title put splinterlands I can see that a lot. I get thousands of emails, so I it sticks out more. And um, or you can watch one of my videos and put it in the comments below. Just say you want to join, leave your name or whatever you want me to write down. And if I pick you, I'll contact you, and then we can transfer it that way. Um, yeah. So just just contact me if you don't see your name on this list. Let's go. Here's everybody I got, okay? So if you don't see your name on this list, resend it, contact me. Make sure you get on the list. While we're here, let's go look at my transparent uh, numbers. So I've got three accounts. I've got the gold account. I've got the regular fall account. And I've got a rental account. Excuse me. Before they change the new uh, rules where it's going to be, uh, they're doing away with silver, bronze, gold, all that. Uh, this was a, both of these accounts were high silver and a high bronze. So that's all changed. So gold, regular, rental. Uh, that's to take advantage of what might be a good rental market coming back. And, um, and now the strategy is just to get as high as you can. It's really, it's about as simple as they can make it, right? Uh, but here's my current value of the gold account, the regular account, and the rental account. $500 for land, $328 for SPS for a total value of $4,092. Here's what I got invested, $29.60. That's over three years. I add $10 every day for a walkaway total of $1,132 if I were to quit today and sell everything. Not bad for a Web3 game that's now going on its sixth year, okay? Show me another platform that's been around for six years, let alone a Web3 game. Not many, not many at all. Uh, but you see the fluctuation here, plus 80, minus 33, plus 61. So it's back and forth. Um, so that's, I, I try to be as transparent as I can on that. Here we are in the uh, my guild KGM Jam Guild. We have room for four more. Uh, it's by request only, so send me a request and I'll uh, or invite you if I come across you type thing. And in the bra, let's see how many frays we got still open. Here we go. 35 more hours and 5 to 13. So uh, we got time. No rush. I took the last one right here, and then I put my Tarl Cabot one in number nine, and then 
trash panda telepathic he's his two accounts in these so we're doing good um let me see shadow morph hello dear team i lately got lost in my own translation and because of that i was i really wasn't aware I had to brawl i'm sorry i let y'all down this time no problem we're, we're pretty laid back but you missed out you know missed out on some free sps and you, look if you're not in a guild you want to get in one because you get merits to get packs you get um sps you get gold crowns to help build the the guild uh there's really no reason not to be in one and a lot of people they make it tough to get into it they won't i've been kicked out of several to put in perspective so uh when you can get in one get in one so let's go do the land and i still have yet not gotten a totem piece i claimed three times yesterday too <coughs> And here we go, production. And here's my five properties. I got one, two, two here, and then one here. So let's do, the first two are my grain producing properties. And this one does nothing but stack grain. I don't send it anywhere. And I'm very fortunate that I can do that. The other property takes care of all the other properties that don't produce grain. There's the tax that we have to play or pay right there. High Vengeance been kind of slow, the server. Took me forever to get through Golem Overlord. You know, if you're on the fence about making videos, just just make a video of what you're doing, like what I do. Just make it about your strategy. I leave it to other guys to get that, you know, in-depth data analysis and all that. And I, I learn a lot from them. And I'm glad they do that. Uh, me, I just make, a, you know, just showing you what I'm doing type thing. Okay. So let's go to here. <clears throat> I got this frog in my throat. I can't seem to get rid of it this morning. Okay, let's harvest. Why that was in pink. Okay, so I got that grain. So let's take it and transfer it. Five thousand one hundred and seventy four, and I'm going to transfer it to forty six, which has two properties that they share the same grain silo, so no fee for both, just one. This is the double property in the same track. And one's research and the other one's SPS. You got to have grain, guys. You got to make sure you got enough grain, otherwise, you got to buy it. And it can get very expensive. Still don't know what to use the research for. I mean, we got an ideal, but I'm really not going to talk about it because I don't know exactly, and I, I don't want to mislead anybody just on case. SPS, we're going to lose. But for right now, we can mine it on 
any of the properties you own. Let's go back to, did I get them both? Yep, I did. That was SPS, that one. All right, now let's do the last one, which is SPS. <coughs> Okay, still no totem piece. I figured I'd get at least one by now. Okay, I can't claim. Let me see. SPS is 24 or two and a half cents, roughly is what it is. And I'll have to wait probably till tonight to claim. Yeah, 11 hours, so that's tonight. All right, let's get over to the battle page. See if I got any battles I can do. I bought with Splinter Mate. And whenever I feel like playing the game, I will turn it off and play. But uh, every now and then I got one or two I can play before it gets there and none right now. 13 minutes I'll have one. But let's see what I got last night. Still in bronze one. Okay, about one SPS, four potions, and some merits. Not bad. Not bad for bronze. Let me see. Yep, I'm barely, I'm hanging on a bronze one right there. And it's almost halfway through the season. That's not good. All right, let's go do my DCA. I've already done it because I was trying to get the golden summoners. My strategy now has changed to... Uh, maxing out golden summoners on the Chaos Legion. They're, they're the cheapest, uh, probably bang, best bang for the buck, but they're not the best. But uh, they are the gatekeepers. If you're going to play the new way you and you want to go as high as you can, your summoner can limit you for what cards you can bring in. I don't care how good a card you have. If you don't have a maxed out summoner, you're limited to what you, you don't have to get it maxed out. I mean, you just won't be able to go as high as you'd like. Okay, so here's what I purchased. I got two more. I remember I put in $10 a day. And these were this was $6 total. So that was most of my DCA. But I am now done with five, or no, four of the five splinters. So let me see, eight, 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 six, and eight. So let's see what he's going at. I got 12. So I'm going to need 10 more. And currently almost five bucks. Wow. Yeah, so I might lay off of him for a while because I got him high enough. I'm not going to need him anytime soon. <clears throat> Give a chance for the price to come down now. I do want a dragon summoner. So let's go look at what ones they have and which one I'll probably concentrate on. Okay, so here's all the dragon summoners. Let's put them in the right price order. So 10 bucks is the cheapest one. So I might concentrate on him. 
let's see what is he a rare yeah so it's going to take 22 right Whew, that's 220 bucks maybe not <laughs> maybe I'll hold off I would love to get Lily that's what I might do is just start buying these because you need 11 of them and of course who wouldn't want the Byzantine Kitty who would not want that and this guy's $12,000 that's just for collection I don't know he re well he's only two mana so that's nice all right now what did I spend the rest of the money on I got packs I got four Chaos Legion packs and I got one let's go to Alpha let's get rid of the gold and the summoners and let's go to items Okay, where is he? Right here. I'm a new part of my strategy is I'm purchasing alpha cards every single day. And I got two of him. And I'm gonna max them out. So I'm gonna burn, get rid of two cards for everybody, which will knock this down from four eight thirty three to four eight thirty one. <clears throat> alpha cards are gonna be the hardest to get cards overall. Just simply because of the first packs, and they didn't make that many to begin with. All right, so I got him boxed out at 17. Let's go look at all the alpha cards I got. Here's the three gold I got. These two I pulled out of packs. Then here's all the regular. So I'm starting to build up a nice little collection. little bit here and there. Here's the only legendary I got. Of the regular foil. Okay. Um, let's go open packs. So we're going to go here to the mana well. And uh, Trash Pan has been sending me a pack a day. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. And I've got potions I can actually use on this. Total four. Don't have to have potions, but they do help. I do not buy potions unless it's a alpha pack. Probably a Bravo, you know, anything that's an expensive pack, I'll probably use potions on. But when you're getting these at a dollar a pop, and that is a legendary, guys. Holy shit. Let's see if it's a legendary gold. And that's a gold. Sweet. This is a great pack. Come on, gold. Nope, but I'll take it. Legendary. Awesome. Fantastic pack opening. All right, let's go and do this real quick. And then I got the four Chaos Legion packs to open. But I'm doing that in my other account because it's got some potions I can use up. So let's open this up. And I'm getting 4,540 points an hour. And I got 19 with two days left. Okay, let's clear all that off. Let's go back to my items. Go to Rebellion. All right, let's go to Gold. That should give me five, yeah. And which one did I just get? I think it was this guy, right? Nice. None of them need to be combined. And now let's go to my legendaries. Here's all the legendary. I've, I only have two. And 
which one did I just get? I think it was this guy. Wow, he's worth nine dollars. Fantastic. Okay, but here's all my epics. None of them need to be combined. Let's go to my rare. And I didn't get any rares. So it was all common. And let's see all cards. Let's see if I still need to get any. Nope, I've got all the commons. Cool. All right, let's combine them. And slap them back in the wagons. Okay, let's go back to here. I think I got one more to do. Yep, there he is. Okay, now let's go back and look at the rares. See if I got all those. No, I got one. No, I got quite a few. And then it just goes up from there. All right, let's go slap all these back on the wagons and then go open those last packs. fill and there you go let's see what my new number count is five one eighty so about six hundred points and let's see if I need to get another wagon almost I've got two slots left because I got two new cards today. There will be downtime starting in about 30 minutes. I got plenty of time. Okay, let's get over. Let's log out. Let's go over Tarl Cabot. see what level he I think he's in bronze one also oh shit I forgot to claim
Nice. Okay, good. All right, now let's go open those packs. So with the money left over, I bought three packs. Let's see how many potions I got. Yes, yeah, six and twelve, so. This will use up all of them, because it's one potion, one card for each one. Okay, I'm guaranteed three rare. I start off with two, three, and an epic. Nice. Okay, so let's go. And now any of these can be gold. And of course, any gold card will help out with my gold deck. There's a rare right there. We'll save the epic. On summoners. Nope. And an epic. Sweet. Good card. All right. There we go. Uh, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I know your time's important. If you get a chance, go check out Pro Advertisers Club and have a great day. Oh, and don't forget about the drop. Okay? Or the uh, giveaway.